Happy Monday, everybody. I'm Dave Morris. Thanks for clicking on the play right here on NewsOK.com. We'll take a look at some of the stories you can find in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman and on our website at NewsOK.com, including a new location for the Greyhound bus station and an update on the move to get storm shelters in schools. But first, jurors in the political bribery trial of former State Representative Randy Terrell began to hear from the defense witnesses on Monday. As you know, Terrell is accused of offering then-Senator De Debbie Leftwich a job at the state medical examiner's office in 2010. Prosecutors allege he bribed her so she would not run for re-election. Terrell is expected to take the stand. You can read more about the court proceedings in Nolan Clay's article in Tuesday's Oklahoman, and we'll keep our website, NewsOK.com, updated with the very latest from the courtroom. Attorney David Slane and several parents and more met with the state Supreme Court on Monday to discuss the effort to get storm shelters in Oklahoma schools. Families of those killed in the Plaza Towers Elementary School want to see a school shelter mandate. The group wants to put the issue on a ballot for voters to decide, but they've hit several obstacles. With the Supreme Court uh, trying to accommodate us on a very fast schedule, uh, we're optimistic about the court hearing this. Um, However, we are somewhat disappointed uh, with some of the things that transpired today in the, in the scheduling hearing. Uh, but we're optimistic that the Supreme Court will want to hear this and, and will want to do the right thing. You can read more about the effort to get shelters in schools as well as the Supreme Court hearing in Graham Brewer's article in The Oklahoma. Greyhound is set to open a new bus station in downtown Oklahoma City. The company has been operating out of the Union bus station, but will now work out of the new facility in the 1900 block of East Reno. Uh, it's a great opportunity here to revitalize a piece of the uh, city um, with our new building, energy efficient, um, really help out this area of the town as much as we can. Officials say the new bus station is much more customer friendly and the move will free up Union Station for downtown redevelopment. Read more about the two stations in Steve Lackmeyer's article in Tuesday's Oklahoma. In sports tomorrow, you may have seen Des Bryant have his meltdown as the Dallas Cowboys lost to Detroit. Jenny Carlson takes a look at memorable meltdowns in the NFL. Something to look forward to there. These stories and more in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman and on NewsOK.com. Have a great Monday, everybody.